da, da, da. Now let's talk about the waterproofing system of the wall. Uh, we have a transition membrane, which is the white material. It goes over the below grade waterproofing, which is probably a bituminous material. It could be a number of things. Um, and then we have the air barrier. So the transition material helps to make the transition between different, um, different materials and also where it terminates in the wall provides a termination point. And we'll see that when we get to the window details. The air barrier itself, which is represented in yellow in all these details, uh, it, it is part of the moisture resistance part of the assembly. It is the, the function of an air barrier is to um, not necessarily to protect the, the wall from being drafty, but it is to eliminate uh, moisture laden air. So in other words, the air that contains water molecules, we wanna keep that air out of the envelope because when the air reaches its dew point and, 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 and those water molecules are allowed to condense, we do not want to have liquid moisture on any sensitive building component like drywall where the, if it gets wet, it could mold, or steel, you know, structural steel that's embedded in the wall, lintels and shelf angles and things like that. So the air barrier is a very, very important part of the moisture resistance system of the wall. All right, next we have the insulation. Then we have the drip edge come in. So now we're starting to talk about the flashing. Uh, this example shows a stainless steel drip edge that's adhered with a couple of beads of adhesive it's got a hemmed edge so that it's nice and straight and it doesn't cut you. You know, you've got that, you know, smooth edge. And this will engage with the uh, through wall flashing, which we'll see in a moment. The through wall flashing is going to be the green material that comes in. This will be a flexible material. It's probably a little bit more economical than the stainless steel drip edge. This could be a rubberized asphalt or an EPDM material. For commercial construction, probably not PVC. Uh, PVC is used in residential, probably shouldn't ever be used. Uh, we don't like PVC flashing because it's not very durable. And it's still flashing, you know, you don't want it to be the weakest link in the wall because you don't ever want to have to open up a wall on a building and replace flashing that's, that's deteriorated over time. And PVC is prone to doing that. So uh, through wall flashing is the green, the horizontal termination bar is mechanically anchored to the backing as it has a bead of sealant at the top uh, to prevent any moisture from getting back behind the flashing. And uh, here we have continuity now of the flashing and the air barrier. It's the weep vents, all right? We have weep vents at the bottom of the cavity. Uh, not only the bottom of the wall, we're looking at the base of the wall, but the weep vents are at the bottom of every, wherever the cavity has a termination. All right, so if it's a mid-rise or a high-rise building and there's a system of horizontal shelf angles every 30 feet, let's say, you would have to flash and weep those shelf angles where you have window heads. Um, that's a terminate horizontal termination of the cavity. So you'd have to weep those as well, with flashing as well.